everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my single player Minecraft 1.16. Let's play. How is everybody doing? I'm doing amazing. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And again, like I say in every video, but I mean it. Thank you all so much for all the support on our single player Let's Play. You don't understand how this makes my heart feel, okay? I'm all bubbly inside like my girl Bubbles right here hanging out here at the edge. She wants to take a dip in the water, don't you, girl? Tell everybody. You want to take a dip in the water. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> oh, no, she mad. Bubbles, don't get mad. She mad. Okay, listen. Everything's fine. She's not going to attack me. Everything's cool. We have a, a, a very lovely relationship. Hold on. Bubbles? I'm sorry. Come on. Come on back. Come on, back. Oh, I gotta help her out. I gotta help her out. Sorry, it's okay. I'm sorry. It was just a prank. Bubbles, just a prank, girl. Oh, she mad. Stop. Relax. Okay, where are you going? She's leaving. Oh, is that your new house now? Are you gonna live in here now? Is this your new home? <laughs> okay, fine. Stay in there. She's mad. Okay, you know what? Thank you all for hanging out with me today. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun today on the agenda. We're gonna Bubbles, I hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm let me walk over here. Today on the agenda, I am doing nothing but making sure we make an enchanting setup because i need silk touch more than anything in this world and it has to happen this episode also uh, i want to build a nice little enchanting setup once we do make that enchanting setup i want to make something nice i want to build a custom bubbles i hear you custom mushroom that's right but i need silk touch for it because i would love to gather these mushroom blocks right here. I would love to gather the stem ones you see over there in the back. I need a bunch of mushroom blocks. And I can't get it without silk touch. So that's the plan. Bubbles are here. That's the plan for today. But before we even get anything started, I got to show you. I've been working. I've been doing some stuff. You're going to like it. I promise. Let's start with uh, number one, this area. Look at this. Bubbles, you want to be freed. <laughs> Come on out of there, girl. Come on. She's not mad. She can't stay mad at me that long. What's up, girl? But uh, check this out. I got rid of our tree farm. That's right. Well, and I made uh, something pretty cool. So I added this little extra wall right here that connects to what we were doing right here on this side. So this goes along this little path right here. And then I did another one on this inside part. And if you remember, there was like almost like a little bit of a hill here. So I kept that hill, right? But I ended up getting rid of all the trees and adding just a couple nicely strategically placed trees. We got some dark oak. I hear you girl we got some dark oak we got some oak we got some mushrooms back there and it looks so good i gotta get rid of this uh, stuff there's a bunch of junk here except for that i need this today come with me i need all that and i guess i'll take the pork chop too but what do you guys think of this little area so just to start but i really want to place the big boy mushroom up here and i still gotta clear all this stuff i still haven't cleared all this uh in this area but you're wondering uh you're asking probably sausage where did your tree farm go it's over there. <laughs> I ended up using that little island we had over there. And that is officially... Bubbles, you on your way over there? Thank you. Okay, show the people. Show them. You want to show them more than me? You want to show them more than me? Okay. This is our brand new, amazing, always going to be modified. Because you know what? We got to knock those down to make more. Eventually, one day, it'll be a, a forever uh, tree garden. But for right now, um, it's never going to look like this ever again. Because we're going to keep chopping down and gathering more materials. But this is our tree island. I hear you, girl. I hear you. you, what, do you what are you saying? You want people to name that island in the comment section? All right. Name this island. It, it can't be called Tree Island, okay? Give me something more creative. Name this island in the comment section. I need a really good name. Just like we got over there, Mifflin. And we got over here, Little Mythos. That's right. Bubbles is excited. Uh, and also, I got to... I got to... I gotta put all this junk away. This is, well, not junk. This is awesome stuff. So look at all that oak. Look at all that. Uh, we don't have that much acacia. We got some stuff to clear out and put over there in the starter house. But what do you guys think of the tree island? Uh, is it cool? All right, you know what? Let's head over there. Let's take a closer look. Bubbles, you wanna come? No? Okay, bye. Where you going then? Where you going then? Where you going then? Wait there. And here it is. Look how cool. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Uh, so pretty much what I did was, uh, it's pretty much natural. This is the actual shape of the island. All I did was put a little bit of sand here, drop a little bit of the soil, soil, a little bit of the gravel. I dirt it up, right? Is that how you say? I just put dirt here. <laughs> so all of my ceiling is gone for now, but I'm going to have little patches later on when it's more controllable. Right now it's just dirt, okay? Uh, so these are the uh, the farming trees right now. Uh, and it's really awesome. One day we're going to keep this as a forever tree tree village right but, but for right now uh, this is just to gather materials uh but it's a really nice spot to gather materials right uh we got some bamboo over here we got little tiki torches here on the side I ended up using the old school lantern because you know what we got to give that one a little bit of love too right uh, but we got some cool stuff around here we got some of the new shrooms hanging around here we got some twisted vines here we also got some extra lovelies uh i need to collect these anyways uh these are the aesthetic ones the farming ones are still over there uh, but what do you guys think this is really awesome right i love it so much 
much. Uh, and a couple people were asking, Sausage, how are you getting this Pato? All you gotta do is do the double tall uh, trees like this with the spruce, and boop, you get Pato, which is really, really awesome. But very helpful when you're trying to get rid of some mycelium. But <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, name this in the comment section. I need a good name for this tree island. Don't call it tree island. Oh man, I gotta gather a little bit more of this. I think I might just have enough for the paper to build the uh, the books. Or, you know, how do you build, you build the book, right? You craft the book, whatever. I'm gonna build the other thing later. But I think I have enough uh, sugar cane. I think, maybe. Did I get everything? Did I get it all? I'm good? Okay. Uh, we'll get a more industrial size sugar cane farm at a later date, but we are still in the starting phases, okay? So don't judge. Uh, so next thing we're gonna do is do a little bit more breeding. If you saw the little intro, I've been breeding up these bad boys over here, uh, and I have this little tiny, uh, very simple, very starter worthy. That wasn't in, that wasn't ready yet. Very starter worthy crop field right here, but eventually over there in that area, we're gonna make we're gonna be making a really amazing crop field. You just watch for right now we have these little tiny baby ones uh but it's okay it's fine you know what hold on let me plant these bad boys real fast okay perfect all right and then come with me we got all of these guys so don't get too attached to these bad boys because they are going to get choppy choppy very very soon so i think we might have a good amount of leather but i don't think it is enough i gotta do a little bit more of a breed job there's uh another problem uh we've been breeding up also chickens which is technically not a problem everything's going great give me your your eggs you did you escape? Get back in there. Uh, but check this out. Um, we got sheep, but there's no grass for them to eat. So I've been shearing some of them, but they can't grow back because they're so, it's so loud here. They can't grow back because there's no grass to eat. So um, I'm gonna stop shearing them for right now. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get grass eventually. Uh, and we got mushrooms, whatever. You guys know about them. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and see what we can do about this uh, enchanting situation all right let's see what we can get with what we got right now i don't know if this is enough but uh let's see so books uh bam is this enough bookshelves uh definitely <laughs> um hold on okay hold on no 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 i need i need more i need more uh, wood hold on i need more wood i need more wood okay. oh yes i got plenty of wood right here let's see is this enough boop 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 book shelves 16 is this enough okay now this is the problem i want to put it down somewhere but i i i want it in the permanent spot all right i got rid of the mushroom that was right here i think i'm gonna put it right on top of this little hill i think it'll be pretty cool and it'll go really nice with what we got going right here and you know what i think 16 isn't that just enough what are the odds of this okay hold on right i think right here one two um three then one two three one two three then one, two, and three. One, two, one, and two. Is this enough? I think that's enough. Usually I put, you know, a couple more on each side, but I think, yeah, wow, okay. All right, all right. I think this is gonna be pretty good. That's a good spot. Okay, let's see if we can make uh, an enchanting uh, thing. <laughs> okay, I got some diamonds, okay. Enchanting table, what does it take? Obsidian, one, two, three, four, two of these. Oh, we got one book left, oh my God, what are the odds of this beauty? Um, I need obsidian, one, two, three, four. Um, oh, I don't, I don't have enough. Into the mines we go. All right, we still gotta dress this spot up, but don't you worry, this is coming, eventually. <laughs> We're gonna come up with a really cool design, but let me know what you wanna see down here. You want me to make something a little bit more organic, or would you like me to make something a little bit more uh, streamlined, like you got patterns going down this thing? I think organic, maybe with like nether, little bits of nether popping in from side to side. Oh, I'm inspired. I think we could do that. Now, hold on, where is my, ooh. That's dark. Yeah, I ran out of torches. Ah, here it is, my little obsidian pocket. I love a good little obsidian pocket. It's the greatest, it's the greatest pockets. Send hot pockets, I love it. But what do you guys think? What is your favorite hot pocket? Let me know in the comment section. I love the Philly cheesesteak one, or maybe the pepperoni, I don't even know. I'm a hot pocket loving boy, okay? But let me go ahead and collect some of these. We're gonna need, I think, three of them. So we'll go ahead and take care of this right now. Also, I wanna ask you guys, what has been your favorite thing so far in the Nether update? Let me know, is it the biomes? If it is, which one's your favorite? Uh, what have you loved the most? How about the Striders? How about the Piglins? How about having gas everywhere in a Soul Sand Valley trying to kill you? I don't know. I don't think that one would be the, the one to win. Oh, rip. 
Um, but let me know what has been your favorite uh, thing so far. Oh man, and I just recently started up again with my friends on the Legacy SMP. If you guys didn't catch that last episode, we got together with the group and started to go crazy, explore high, exploring the Nether, and I had so much fun. I got plans on that series, man. I really want to do like almost like a a Strider habitat and do like tours with them. Uh, maybe rent them out, sell Striders, okay? Almost like um Carol Baskin, you know, but with Striders, but not me. Uh, uh, and uh, not uh, weird at all but you know what <laughs> it's gonna be so awesome i can't wait also we got some big plans over there so follow me on that follow all my friends too man everyone's doing such an amazing job making some fun videos there on the series but don't you worry it's not gonna affect anything at all here on the single player world i'm thinking about maybe we could do one or two legacies a week over here on the single player world you can expect at least one every other day minimum if that's cool hopefully you guys enjoy we're still gonna be doing a bunch of tutorials and time lapses and fun uh, village builds. I also did a recent nether village. Oh, man. Oh, I can't wait to keep that going Check that out if you guys haven't already. Let me know what you think of it uh, I, I did the warped forest village I think I'm gonna do either the crimson one or the basalt delta next or maybe the soul center I don't even know I'm building another village very very soon and I think I got too much obsidian That's fine. We're we're always gonna need more, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think so far of this nether update. I love it so much. Oh, let's go back upstairs. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Enchanting table. Bam. Oh, baby. Let's put it down right over here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look how glorious. The beginning of something great. We're gonna be building a nice big old mushroom. I'm gonna build it right up here. That is the plan. I'm getting inspiration by my friend. Pearl S. and Moon, who built one of the coolest mushrooms I ever seen in the shopping district in Legacy, and I, I'm taking, I'm taking all the inspiration off that. I'm gonna jump over there and look at it first. But hold on, I need uh, a lapis. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Put that there. Put that here. Unbreak it three. I'm pop. Oh, I don't know if I want to waste it on this. If anything, I can disenchant it. Can I make a, a nice hoe? Unbreak it three hoe. No. How about a shovel? I'm breaking. It's unbreaking on every single one of them, isn't it? I bet you this I'm breaking too. This is stupid. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, if anything, we can disenchant, right? Okay, let me get a grindstone. Do we have one here? I don't think so. I think I have one back there. Where's my grindstone? All right, I'm lazy. I don't feel like going all the way back over there to the island, so I'm just gonna wait over here. Let's get three of these lovelies. Let's make a, a slab with it, right? Isn't it this? I think it's this. Make a slab with this thing, and uh, we got some sticks. We got some wood. It's fine. Let's see. Can I make uh, you, please? And there you go, I got that, and a grind the stone. Let's go, bam, lovely. Let's make one, let's put one right over here, and I think we'll be all right. All right, let's do it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the pickaxe. Hopefully we get some silk touch, that's all I need is silk touch, okay, please. Maybe we get it with this, maybe we don't. The moment of truth. Is this gonna be the greatest enchanting station in the history of enchanting station, or is this gonna be the worst enchanting station ever made? <laughs> Average. Uh, how about a hoe? Ooh, no, I don't want a fortune hoe. How about, um, no, okay. Silk touch, fortune, shovel. You know what, there's something wrong here. Um, should I get rid of this? Should I disenchant this? This is a pretty good work pickaxe, but we ain't got time for all that. Um, you know what, I'm gonna have to make another pickaxe anyways. We can have a fortune one and we can have a silk touch one, but, Okay, let's do that. Let's let's make another let's make another pickaxe. That's fine. This is the only three diamonds I got left. I have to go mining anyway, so it's fine. There's plenty where that came from. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. Please, please, please. Fortune two. How? How? When this one over here was fortune three. How are you tricking me like this? How is this even a thing? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna cry. You're four to three my hoe, but you won't four to three my pickaxe? Oh, come on, you stupid, I, I hate you. You know what, I know a good trick to re-roll this. Let's do this. Let's do these. We're gonna be making some spoons, that's right. I'm gonna be making a spoon collection. Let's go there, there, and fortune three on a spoon. Get out of here with your stupid mess. Give me something up. There's something wrong here. There's something, there's something wrong here. Oh! Well, 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 I can combine these for something epic, but I still need soap touch. Ho, you're my only hope. Bubbles, I'll be back. I gotta go quartz mining. Don't ask. Oh, man. Can I please get soap touch? 
All right, let's go get a little bit of quartz. Hopefully this helps out. If we get back to 30, we go on. We could try to get some soul touch. Die. Thank you. Oh, we're back again, Bones. This time I brought a, a, a pickaxe. <laughs> Finally, get these bones. Hey, friend. How's it, how's it going? Saw you in an anime a couple days ago. I'm about to die. Oh, lovely quartz. Give me all your quartz. I got fortune too now. Better than nothing. Oh, it feels so good to have an enchanted pick again. Look at that. There we go, level 30, that quickly. Oh man, I love mining for quartz. Early game, I think it has to be one of the greatest ways to get levels. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this the best way, early game? Like super early game, like we are right now? Getting quartz to get levels? Yeah, I think so. Can you please stand still? Oh, I got you, I got you, you are so stupid. All right, back again for round two. Also got a bunch more books that we can actually see if we can make uh, some uh, good stuff with that. Maybe some, I'm not gonna enchant a torch. What kind of thing is that? Maybe some books will help us out. That could also be a thing. Oh, hold on. Power, nah, okay, no books. How about, let's, I, I took my hoe into a different level. I disenchanted it. How about please, give me some soul touch with this hoe. You know what, that's not bad. That's not bad. I really don't want to get rid of any of the, You know what, I might get rid of this one. Even though we could combine it for some uh, for a good a good time. Uh, you know what, I'm going to re-roll this one. Okay, it's fine. It'll it'll be okay. Give me something good, please. Unbreak it three by itself. Okay, let's try a book. Luck of the sea! What do you think, I'm dumb? And X. <laughs> so touch, I really want to so touch. Please, why not luck of the sea? All right. Um... Maybe I could do, uh, let me do a spoon. Bye spoon. I love you, I'll never see you again. Bane of Arthropods. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm in Spider Gang and Legacy, but I ain't Spider Gang in my single player world. How about you? <gasps> Thank you, Minecraft gods. You have watched over me like a kind and gentle soul. Okay, listen, I, I know I'm, I might be a little bit greedy asking for this, but is there any possibility I could get this with some efficiency and unbreaking? Oh. Yes! 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 Oh, this is fantastic! Okay, okay, now this is what I need from you guys. That's the Silk Touch, that's the Fortune. Name both of these in the comment section, but hashtag Fortune, hashtag Silk Touch. Give me awesome names, I'm gonna pick them in the next episode. Oh, we're good to go! Oh, wait, um, these are great and all, but how fast is it when I use it? on this no you are aesthetic let me get let me get this guy how fast are you oh that's pretty slow right which one was the fast one is it the x it's the x nope oh, i lost all of those so i need a silk touch x that would be even better okay i'm being greedy now give me a second oh baby 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 look at that okay okay uh just a little bit of grinding uh three levels easy all right, here we go. You know what? I'm, I'm, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this with a brand new axe, right? Why, where am I gonna use this half used one? So, here we go. Boom. Oh, I should do it with diamonds, right? I should do it with diamonds so they last longer, but I don't have any more diamonds. I'm gonna have to go on a diamond run. Oh, are we really gonna go mining? Let's go. <laughs> Again, don't judge me on this thing. Okay, I know it's ugly. Don't, stop looking at it. All right, I'm gonna pick a random strip. Let's just go. Okay, this was... Okay, I went down that way. I gotta light it up. So one, two, let's do every, let's do three. Let's do right here. I'm just gonna go down. Uh, and I only have like seven torches left. So hopefully we make these last. I don't know if we could. Uh, uh, you know, I have faith. We got this. Let's keep it going. Come on. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Minecraft gods. Give me some good. I need one, two, three, four, five, seven. We got seven. We also got some iron. Thank you so much. Oh, I want to hug this cave. Oh, baby, cave update 2021. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, man, that was just a weird situation. I'm thinking, you know what? We don't even need all the, what access is? Okay, the silk touch one. Okay, I think we could get everything we need. Maybe even off one, right? So I'm doing fortune two. I should wait till fortune three, but you know what? Whatever. Let's just see if we can get three off that one. <gasps> How many? Three off that one. Keeping those, we're gonna fortune those later. Let's put it over here on this side. What's up, Ariel, how you been? Oh, that could be the trick. I forgot about this trick. I, if I throw Ariel on top right here, let her spin around, we usually get a really good enchantment. Oh man, I'll do that for the next time. But for now, brand new X. Let's go, Ariel. I got you, thank you so much. She just she always does the trick. Where is uh, Lapis? There you go. 
So, bam and bam. There we go. And by itself. Are you kidding me? How fast is this? By itself with no enchants. Oh. Oh, it's fine. Imagine with, <laughs> with efficiency 5 on this. All right. I don't know. If, would it go even faster? All right. This is basically all we needed. So, let me do a little bit of farming. Let me get some stuff together. And then we're going to wrap this beautiful enchanting table in something very, very special. Oh, let's get to work. Now, one thing that I learned from my friend Pearl, Pearl Lesson Move, if you guys haven't checked her out, seriously, do yourself a favor. She is a legend, organic legend. One thing that I learned from Pearl, though, was make make it out of other dirt. <laughs> do it out of dirt first. It's easy to knock down. It's easy to mold and shape. So that's what I'm going to do. Got a bunch of dirt that I gathered from the island all the way over there. <laughs> Destroyed an island. It's fine. Uh, and I think we're going we're gonna to start doing a little bit of uh, forming and shaping and see if we can come up with something cool before we put the good blocks down. All right, and here's step number one. What do you guys think? So far, I like the shape. Bubble says she likes it, right, girl? Uh, but check that out. Is that cool? I think it looks pretty nice. So, remember, okay, it's just dirt for now, though, but what I'm going to start doing is coming back in here with a little bit of diorite, right? We're going to pop the diorite on the lower level, right? And we're going to do a little bit of a gradient. So the diorite will be kind of on the low side, and then we're going to pop in the bone block maybe after, and then on the top end, the the, the the top part of this after this gradient right would be the mushroom stem block now for the mushroom stem block i got uh these things lined up so i'm gonna grab some bone meal and we're just gonna go like this all the way down come back here with the best axe in the game right here and we're gonna get all these lovelies oh this is a great block it's so underused too i actually used this in my season two part of my world here in our asian inspired village and it's so good we can also use this for something else later on but uh the mushroom stem block such an awesome block and it's hardly ever used very underappreciated i suggest doing some mushroom stem collecting right and build something really cool with it because you guys you don't know if you don't know you just you know now uh, but go ahead and do that oh there it is check out that lovely gradient oh it's looking really 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 good so we got the diorite we got the bone blocks and then we got the mushroom stem now to bring back the dirt and do a nice little mushroom cap it's gonna look like toad right oh that's bubble's favorite uh super mario kart um character tell him oh man this is what i got so far this is difficult uh this is the first time i've ever tried anything organic this scale before definitely getting inspired by my friend pearl but i don't know what do you guys think let me let me give you a little bit of a twist around here uh so the way that she has it in the shopping district on the bottom she has different levels of um of slabs i believe she used jungle i don't know if i'm gonna go with the same jungle style down here we'll see uh but it's in different levels down here so i think that something like that might look pretty cool but then on the top here we're gonna go with red we're gonna go with that bad boy we're also gonna go with the lovely block the uh the crimson netherite uh nether not netherite the crimson nether one i don't know the 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 red nether wart block i think <laughs> that's the one we're gonna go with on the top and i think it might look pretty cool but i don't know what do you guys think it's a nice shape though i think it's all right for our first time ever doing something this crazy big shout out again to my friend pearl for that inspiration i sent her a quick dm on on discord let's see if she approves but i don't know i think we might even sneak in a little bit of the uh, the stem block up there to give you that that cool little pop of color pretty much just like this but in a larger scale huh I think this is looking all right uh but now let's replace this with that you know what it's officially the next day and i've been at it for a very long time organics are difficult um if you don't have any practice in it if you haven't done it uh it, it takes a long time just you know right now also i'm doing this painful thing of breaking grass with a silk touch axe and it's fine uh I, I need to take a little bit of a break uh from this bill okay um <laughs> and uh, gather some of these bad boys so we can make the terrain look a little bit better once we're done it's getting there Hopefully it's done very soon, uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Also, I need to go to the Nether and do the same thing, but less painful because we're going to be using a pickaxe uh, to gather some of the Crimson Nalium because I need to use that for a little bit of uh, terraform jobs as well. And also, I'm going to need a lot of that warp block. Oh man, I'm going to need a lot of that warp block. All right, big reveal time. We need to do a little exterior work. We'll probably do that right now together. The interior of it is a complete mess, but I'm super happy with how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think. This is my first organic, so be be nice to me in the comment section, okay? Be nice. All right, here it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, baby. Check that out. Uh-huh. 
the the bottom i started messing with it a little bit i got some jungle slabs and full blocks i put some wart uh what is it called again shroom lights all right uh i also got a little bit of string i was hunting last night over there in the the spot where we got the uh the grass and i put the grass down over there i got some string there from some spiders uh and it's, it's looking pretty cool because i didn't want all of these uh vines to go all the way down to the bottom so we got some of these all stringed up uh, not all of them. I think some of them are going to just keep going, but whatever. I uh, added that uh, lovely old vine action. Also, little pops of tiny mushrooms from the sides there again. Shout out to my friend Pearl for that inspiration. Uh, I couldn't have done it without her. Seriously, could not have done it without her. Uh, and this is looking pretty cool. Look at that. On the top there, I got a little mixture of the stem block with the actual uh, mushroom block. I threw that in there just to give a little bit of contrast in between the transition from the red wart, wart whatever thing uh, block to the uh the stem block and it looks pretty cool also up there i added some of the lovely old nylium there the red now is it called red now i don't even know what it's called i got some uh from uh beating that up in the nether and it's looking pretty cool look at that that's literally toad from super mario brothers uh body okay not well nice body that's his head sorry not his body his body's that butter part but what do you guys think oh baby let me go ahead and uh, get a little farther back so you guys can see there it is Oh, baby, I think we did it. I think it came out cool. Oh, what do you guys think? I am so proud. Hopefully, Pearl's proud too. I'm gonna send her a screenshot. Pearl, be proud of me, girl. Oh, uh, but hopefully, you guys are too. My first real, real big organic in my single player world. Oh, man, I do a little cinematic after. Hopefully, you guys like this. I. I, I like it a lot. Imagine a bunch of these scattered throughout. This is what I was talking about. My fantasy is popping out right now. A little fantasy inspiration. But the inside, it is, uh, it's a garbage fire. Uh, but it's fine. I'm just going to have to get rid of the dirt that's on the inside. That's fine. You can do a little bit of spring cleaning in here. It's a little, a little bit of a mess. Um, I might put a little chandelier hanging boy uh, from the center here just to light this place up. For right now, in the inside, I just have uh, some spruce scattered around here uh but i do need to make this a little bit prettier uh also i added uh i have some more books we can go ahead and make this a little bit better as well uh because right now is looking a little bit a little bit little, 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 you know but then on the outside part we're going to do exactly what we did on this side i don't want to cover up too much but i want to go ahead and get some tree action going oh and that's not what i'm looking for uh i need this i want to make some dark oaks uh so a little dark oak right there Maybe a little dark oak right over here. And look at that green grass. What did I say? When we oh, were going to get some green grass, it's going to look really nice. I think that looks pretty cool. Also, maybe another one like right over here, I think might look awesome. Uh, I also got some of the regular oaks. Maybe we could throw a regular oak right there. Maybe one a little farther in. Maybe another one a little farther back here. Maybe one more here. Also, we got this lovely little walkable space. Little walkable space with their bubbles. Look at this, girl. Look at it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and it's looking awesome, I think. Maybe another little bit over there. Also, I got some birch. You know what? I, I don't hate birch as much as I use. So I like birch now. So a little birch right there. And maybe another one right there. And we can grow these up. Let's see what it looks like. A little one right there. Let's pop this up. Pop that up right there. I don't want to take away too much. Oh, that is nice. There we go. And then we can make uh, maybe something happen over here. Another little bit of a retainer wall kind of thing that we've been doing just to have it look a little cooler. There we go. I'm stuck now. That's fine. Uh, another one right there. Oh, I'm, I'm going down. One right here. There we go. And then one right there. Oh, popping up. Okay. And then we have a nice little walkable area right there. Oh, we ran out. That's fine. But then I'm going to pop in a little bit of the lovely shroom in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play around and some more bush add some more life over here let me go ahead and do this though and i think we will close it out right there hopefully you guys are loving this thing as much as me because i love this thing all right i think we're good to go this is looking so awesome this is definitely what i was envisioning the second that i said that i was going to build something here in the mushroom island a custom mushroom and inside an enchanting station Come on, this is super awesome. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these mushroom builds. Maybe we can go ahead and make a whole village in this style. But you know what? I think we could do different colors. Maybe brown mushroom, maybe uh, all white ones, different styles. Maybe a whole uh, warped wart version of it too. Oh man, I'm inspired. Let's go ahead and take a look. But you know what? Let's do it in the form of a little cinematic. Let's go. <laughs>
Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little cinematic. Oh man, I can't wait till shaders come out and we can go ahead and take a look at this awesome new mushroom enchanting room. Oh, come on. Let's go ahead and take a look a little closer on the inside. Bubbles, you like it? Oh, Bubbles, Bubbles, you like it? Of course you do. Bubbles loves mushroom, but check that out. Oh, baby. Coming on the inside, really super simple. Just a little hanging chandelier there with some diorite. Also added some of the uh, the vines here. Oh, look at that. We can climb it. <laughs> so cool. Uh, added a couple extra barrels, a couple extra bookshelves uh, in the back here. Uh, just some extra storage. We got a little grindstone over here. We got a lectern right there looking awesome. Uh, and we got some more cool stuff around the side here. Oh, man. Oh, my favorite enchanting room of all time. It is safe to say. I've made a couple cool ones, but this... This is it, <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm thinking after we're done here with the enchanting, we got all uh, all the inspiration in the world to maybe build up that animal pen. Those animals are just outside hanging out. I don't even know what they're doing there. We got to go ahead and make a home for them. And then also we got to go ahead and uh, make a nice area all the way in the back. See where those mushrooms are hanging out? You know what? I want to build an awesome crop field over there leading up to our big, awesome, amazing manor house and i'm planning on building right there behind my head right over there we got space to build something really really cool over there and that'll, that'll just cap it all off still gonna make some ducks around here maybe another extra uh, uh little uh spot right there see that little island right behind me what should i put behind my head that little island right there another lighthouse maybe i don't know hmm maybe we could do something really special over there maybe ariel's home could be there hmm build a little fishbowl in there maybe i don't know let me know what you guys think and look all over there uh, you know what i need a spot to 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 do a little mushroom gathering so it doesn't have to be right here in this spot maybe we could build a little island maybe that island could be a little mushroom gather i don't know we'll see i need a mushroom gathering island because that's our tree island over there hmm all right you know what i'm out of here for now let me know what you guys want to see next i'm super inspired can't wait for the next episode you guys are beautiful you guys are amazing thank you all so much for hanging out with me today and i'll catch you guys on the next episode goodbye look at this thing <laughs> hopefully pearl's proud of me